Welcome to the Prime Train YouTube. I'm so excited today to have Bull Magnets legend and also AFL legend Tom Mitchell with me today. How are you, Tom? Prime, I'm good. Can I call you Prime? You can call me whatever you want, I'm actually. I'm going to call you Prime. <laughs> you can call me whatever you I'm want. I'm going to call you by your real name. I feel like everyone calls you Prime. I, everyone's been calling me Prime on the weekend stuff. I don't know. I'm a bit, I'm a bit nervous about that. I can fame. change your actual name to Prime. I've really, actually been thinking about changing my last name. Tom Prime is going to be my Prime, new name. That works. I like what about that. you? Could you be Tom Ball Magnet? Mitchell? Uh, yeah, that could work. That could, that could be work. pretty out there, though. <laughs> Real name for last arrogant. name Magnet. Yeah. Right. A bit arrogant. A few tickets on yourself. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We all like a few tickets on ourselves. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be doing a little bit of a workout today. We're going to be going through heaps of athletic movements and some really good movements uh, that are specific for AFL. They're going to help Titch get a bit more of the pill because he's been struggling a little bit lately. Uh, so we're going to see how we go with that. You excited? You ready? Mate, I want to show you how to scale a beer at the food. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I probably do need a bit of help with that. I didn't even sip it as well. Really? Was it okay? I, oh, I don't know. People have been saying to me, they're like, um, you've staged it for TikTok and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It was all real. I promise you, like, I didn't know the bloke that ran it out to me, but yeah. Um, no more beers for me on the field. Don't do it, kids. Yeah, don't, don't drink do beers Make on the point. field. Wait till after the game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> G'day there legends. Make sure you go check out the AFL in-season gym program. It's absolutely fantastic for anyone out there looking to level up their game. Written by myself, Tom Mitchell, Patrick Cripps, and a whole host of other AFL footballers. Make sure you use the code TOM3 to get 15% off at checkout. Let's get into this video. The first exercise that we're going to be doing today uh, is a balanced exercise. This is one of my favorite exercises and it is also the most, I think, sports specific one for AFL when it comes to balance. Pitches and back, just getting some push-ups in. Never sleep this <laughs> First exercise that we're going to do, what it is, is it's a single leg um, RDL and then with a clean. So what we're going to be doing is rolling that bar down, coming down, hold that position. Now this position, as you probably know, is an AFL kicking position. So this is exactly where we're going to be when we're kicking the ball. Now a lot of people struggle to get that balance on that single leg when they're doing that kick. So we're coming down and we're going to come up, drive that knee up, try and keep that 90-90. Interesting movement, and you've got to have a lot of control. Body control, core strength with it. And it's going to be an explosive movement. So coming down, down that one leg, into that kicking position, up, explosive, and come up. Perfect. Up, perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Keep that big toe into the ground. Beautiful. And get those elbows up as well. Yeah, perfect. That's right. Perfect attention, see, getting that knee up, driving up, switch legs. You only need to do probably three or four reps on each side. You don't need to worry about doing too much heavy stuff. This is a balance exercise. It's important to keep your balance as key and as foundational as you possibly can. Look at those legs. How is he going there? He's shredding. Beautiful. So this next, next exercise is again another really key exercise for balance. With this exercise, we're going to be just, just doing a normal shoulder press. Instead, we're going to try and keep that knee up, that leg up. Now, we want to try and keep it at 90 degrees, 90 degrees as much as we possibly can. You can see here, dorsiflex that toe. We've got that full contraction all the way through, that whole kinetic chain there. So what we're going to be doing, getting the bar up, might do it on the side a little bit. We'll be coming that knee up on my balance, drive that toe to the ground. Press above our head. Coming back down, doesn't need to be an explosive press. Make sure you put your head through there at the top. Beautiful. Beautiful, and then push your head through at the top. Yes, nice. Now with these guys, you only need to do three to four reps. It doesn't have to be a massive, massive exercise like Especially with that balance exercise, it's going to be really, really tough on those glutes, on those hammies, on those uh, feet as well. It's really key, I reckon, just to keep it uh, nice and low, those three to four reps. Way to go. Yeah, beautiful. Let's see me and Tom grow that one easy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> got one. Mate, I'm not going to let you show me up. Yeah. <laughs> and also really focus on that single leg strength and a lot of core as well. This is fantastic for your core. See, teacher's core is working really, really hard with those little muscles, which are actually key for your balance. Nice. 
All right, this next exercise is a key for balance. Obviously with our balance exercises, we're gonna be doing a lot of single leg sort of stuff. So this is one of my favorite exercises. For this exercise, you can just use both your hands on the kettlebell at the same time, or you can switch hands, totally up to you. I like to keep both hands on the kettlebell side to side, and you're just gonna be going over that front toe. For AFL specifics, because a lot of the time, you're coming down to pick up the ball, and you've got someone trying to bump you off the ball. Probably doesn't need to do this, but I will be doing this because I'm probably not that tough over the footy. Um, so what you're going to be doing here is you're going to be standing on that one leg, trying to get nice and low like you are coming down to pick up a ground ball. Now what you're going to do is switch that weight from side to side and try and keep that balance as much as you possibly can on that single leg. Just so footy specific. Exactly. Like literally what you said, one. picking up a ground ball. Yeah. Often you're on one leg like this and you're getting pressure from one side. 100%. And you, and people think you can't train for that sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah. You can train for anything. Yeah, like, correct. Yeah. And if, you, if you're wasting your time doing band press and squat when you've already got a base of strength and hypertrophy, yeah. then yeah. this is the key yeah, what you need to be doing. Yeah. Have you got anything on the rest of Have you got training this up? No. Day off? Booked out the whole day for Prime. Too honest. Too honest. With the AFL, we change direction and move around more than any other sport. Pretty much in the world, I think it's probably the most athletic sport there is out there. So with this exercise, we're going to be doing a multi-directional lunge, which is basically like an around the world lunge. You've got to be able to change direction and also be strong in different planes of motion. So we draw all on one side and you switch, go onto the other leg, all the way down. We see a lot of injuries, cutting, turning, Changing direction because we don't know how to load those different places. One, 45 back. Gym strength, how tra like some guys are strong in the gym and strong in the footy field, but it's not always transferable. I've figured that a lot, hey. So, so when I was at Sydney, buddy, buddy, yeah, would bench like 60 kilos, so weak, yeah. but the strongest player on the field because he knew how to use his body. Yeah, Josh Kennedy as well, like best stoppage player. Do you do you feel like that's technique, the way that they yeah. the way that they manoeuvre bodies? So. Do you do a lot of kind of jostling sort of stuff? Do you think yeah. that that's probably, uh, personally, I think that that's more key than mm -hmm. doing something yeah. in the gym. I think that yeah. skills and then your, your kind of the way you can manipulate someone yeah. else's body is key. It's technique. So I would say timing comes under technique as well. Mm -hmm. It's like knowing how to use their momentum or recognizing yeah. when they're off balance because that's when you get your advantage rather than yeah. pure gym strength. Because mm -hmm. otherwise it's just like a, if it's just me and yeah. you're at a stoppage and we're just like this the whole time. Mm -hmm. and that's, you have you to come might, like here or yeah, whatever. Like you might use levers. And yes. Then I'll take a there and yeah. Like that. Perfect. So it's about getting, you know, if I can get your sounds sounds weird. Mm. If I get your head slightly off center, mm. then center your whole body's out, and then your yeah, okay. doesn't matter how much weaker I am than you in the yeah, gym, it won't matter. It but if I, get, anything, if I yeah. get something off balance, and mm. then naturally, if you're a bit off, then I've got you covered. Mm. So you don't need to be strong. Yeah. You need to be in good place. Yeah. It's like exactly. a whole, it's your whole model. I know. I agree, yeah, and yeah. that's like. An I always say train movements over muscles because yeah. the more the stronger that you are, that you can, can like you can transfer your mm. body movement into their body mm -hmm. movement and change their yeah. where their body's going, their center of gravity. Yeah. can change the whole Literally. game. Hey? Spot on. It's very interesting. Spot on. It's very interesting. Who else was? You said someone. There was another name that you said wasn't as strong in the gym. Josh Kennedy. Josh Kennedy. So yeah, I think he's, he must have the record for most clearances ever. I don't know. He'd be, he'd <laughs> exactly. be up there. I thought you say weakest no, press ever. <laughs> no, but he probably does too. Really? He used to bench like 60. He's quite lean. Lean. Lean, at the lean, but you'd assume he'd be so strong. Check out the Bull Magnet Sabre. It has over 15,000 subscribers. I just, 15,000, 15,000. 15, 15, I way undersold how massive it was. They're doing massive things at Ball Magnets, mostly Cripsy and Nearly, but <laughs> Mitch does a little bit of stuff in there as well. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty Even at your eyes. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> oh, run black one, run red one then. Yeah. 
Uh, Alright, so for this exercise. Single leg or just. Yeah, so we'll go single leg, we'll go inside leg, yep. Just down that leg, and then we're gonna come over and back. Perfect. Really good partner one. And pull back, controlling. Single leg, and then exploding. All right, so for this exercise, we're just gonna go side to side, just focusing on that fast ground contact time, trying to move your feet as much as you can. And then you're gonna switch sides each time. You can actually just go one foot off and then come back. So you wanna keep that foot here, come back, drive through. So when you're moving, you wanna keep your center of gravity in that middle as much as you possibly can. Yeah, right. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this massive episode on the Prime Training YouTube channel. Make sure you stay tuned for part number two of this. As you can see here, we do have a lot of cool stoppage sort of stuff and a few more exercises to go through that are very AFL specific. Make sure you check out the AFL in-season program as well. Please, please, please use the code TOM3 to get 15% off. And of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel and like this video, please. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Let's go.